you want to learn how to make money with Blender. Because I mean, you use Blender, it's free. So I want to share what has worked for me and what you can also do. My biggest earner right now is Fiverr. And what I do on there is I coach people and I make 3D models. And I add like Lego stuff, whatever. Um, currently at about $30 an hour with my coaching, pulls in quite a decent amount of money. Then I have my models, which can do whatever. Models are nice because you don't have to like schedule with people and stuff like that. So you can just work whenever you have free time. It's a lot easier to do that. This is a very, it's a, basically a direct way. It's I put in time, I get money kind of thing. And if no one comes and sees my gig, I make no money. So it is not very, it's very stable income, but if you want to take a break, you can um, and stuff like that. And you just don't have to take orders. You can like pause your gigs or stuff like that. That's what I use for my freelancing. You can use stuff like Upwork. I just didn't really want to do that. And like people hour and stuff like that. If you get Fiverr to work for you, uh, it's quite nice, uh, but you can also try out Upwork and all the other ones if you would like, but I've just never really tested them out myself. Now, if you have some sort of skill in Blender, you can start making YouTube videos about it, like, like I'm doing. And when you have a YouTube channel, you kind of just building attention and you have a big, like you can build up an audience to kind of redirect and make money from. I make these YouTube videos for free. People watch them and I go tell them, hey, I have a Skillshare course uh, on how to make local characters and a new one on how to sculpt. So actually click the description if you want to check those out. You make, can make a, a decent amount of money off Skillshare. So Skillshare is for making courses. You can also use Udemy. There's a couple other ones, Teachable, uh, and stuff like that. So you can use those to make like courses to sell to your audience. Uh, you can have Patreon, make yourself models, have already set up one. And then you can have Gumroad, so Patreon is kind of like where you can share like more videos or models or stuff like that and they pay you monthly. Then Gumroad is where you sell digital products. So like I have a couple of models up there for free and you can, people can pay as they want. So people feel generous, they can just tip you money for your models. Doesn't really make that much, but whatever, just give the models for free. For selling your 3D models, you can just have a couple other sites like CG Trader, uh, Turbo Scoot, whatever. Never really like those sites as far as I've tried them. So some of them might work for you, but it is so hard. A few of them are just super oversaturated. That's why I like the route of doing like Gumroad or Patreon, where you can give project files to people and they can like pay for them or just get them for free. Another cool way is if you are pretty skilled with Blender and Python, you can start learning how to make add-ons. Now, add-ons can be very simple and can speed up your workflow and some people are willing to pay for them. You've just had a skill and you can build a asset library. So like HardOps, which is a modeling tool, is basically there to make hard surface modeling slightly easier. But there's also kit bashing, which is just basically they make pre-made models in an add-on that you can they can use to add to their scene and flesh it out and make it better. But it is kind of uh, weird because you have to have a audience for it. So you have to really know what isn't there and you have to have a decently sized YouTube channel to market it to people. Because if you can't market it to anyone, no one's gonna buy it. Okay, so I was talking to that friend recently and what he said was that his add-on, which is on Blender Market, does get most of its traffic from Blender Market itself. But it does give you some sort of base like compared to Gumroad, which probably doesn't recommend it like at all. Yeah, so that's some of the things that I can see and I personally tried for making money with Blender. So I hope this inspired you to kind of try out some new things and have some fun time uh, doing stuff.